Hi guys, this is Jenna from Joie de Vivre Rabbitry again, and I wanted to um, make a second part to the hand plucking video to show how I make sure that the coat is even over the body of the animal, because this particular um, bunny is a show bunny, it is very important to me that her coat is even, so that when the new coat grows in, sorry about that, I have a little stuck to me, um, so that when the new coat comes in, it comes in as even as possible. So if you scrunch up the coat with your fingers like this, you'll come to areas where the wool is not uniform in length. What we're going for is all of our wool to be the same length as all this. So you have this little area here where it sticks up and it's not as even, and usually I would use two hands for this, but my cameraman left me, so I'm using one. But when you find those little spots, you just want gently just pluck around and even out the coat. So then you can see that where we had that uneven spot, it's now fairly even. So that is about it. Like here's another little spot. We'll just just pull that out. And I mean you can see that it is not bothering her or hurting her in any way to be hand plucked because she is a pluck rabbit. If you try to hand pluck a sheer only rabbit, what you will find is that when you pluck that rabbit, it goes bald right down to the skin. You end up with very bright pink, almost red, blotchy, irritated skin, and a very agitated rabbit. So this is Calypso, and she is all set now. Um, different rabbits have different um, coat lengths growth periods, I should say, and um, this particular rabbit, for a pluck rabbit, has a very long um, growth cycle of about almost five months, and usually um, pluck bunnies only have about three months. They molt or blow their coat every three months. This rabbit holds her coat for a very long time for a plucker, and um, she's just a really nice rabbit, and she's a peach, and she is a little camera shy, I think, today. But um, if you notice, I did not pluck down her belly and her chest area all the way because this rabbit is going to be bred, and I want to leave enough wool on her for her to line her nest box with when the time comes. So that is Calypso. There is all the wonderful wool that came off of Calypso. I don't know if I can get in close enough to show you guys the crimp on that, but it is really nice stuff, and I can't wait to spin that. And um, next time we'll show you a video on shearing bunnies or clipping bunnies. Bye.